Evening. Welcome to another worship workout. It is Reformation Week this week, and we are preparing to give thanks to God for all that he gives through our, his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, uh, who by his grace, through faith, through the power of the Scriptures, we hear of his salvation for us and believe and cleave unto him. So tonight we're going to prepare for a little bit, have one of the readings that we'll do for the service, uh, sing one of the hymns, say a prayer, give a couple thoughts, and get us ready for tonight. Because uh, it is almost 6 o'clock, and 6.30 is the time for worship. So let us begin. We will begin by singing one of the hymns for this week. Uh, Praise the one who breaks the darkness. We'll sing the first verse. Praise the one who breaks the darkness with a liberating light. Praise the one who frees the prisoners, turning blindness into sight. Praise the one who preached the gospel, healing every dread disease, calming storms and feeding thousands with the very bread of peace. Ah, always a favorite. I like that one as well. As we sing, the one who breaks the darkness. Our reading for this Reformation is from Romans chapter 3, and here's what we hear from Paul. Now we know that whatever the law says, it speaks to those who are under the law, so that every mouth may be stopped and the whole world may be held accountable to God. For by works of the law, no human being will be justified in his sight, since through the law comes knowledge of sin. But now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from the law, although the law and the prophets bear witness to it. The righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe, for there is no distinction, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a propitiation by his blood to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness because in his divine forbearance he had passed over former sins. It was to show his righteousness at the present time so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. What then becomes of our boasting? It is excluded. By what kind of law? By a law of works? No, but by the law of faith. For we hold that one is justified by faith apart from works of the law. Thus the text. Love that. For all have sinned and are fallen short of the glory of God, but are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. The law shows us our sin. It reveals who we are according before God and his will and what he demands and wants done. And all have fallen short. But through Jesus Christ, all are made justified that the Lord Jesus is the one who accomplishes your salvation, that he loves you, that he paid the price for your sin and my sin. And through his work, you are saved. When you look to him and say, Amen, it is so. That is the gift that we celebrate on the Reformation. That is the gift of our faith for which we fight for still today as we look to our Lord Jesus Christ, who by his blood has redeemed and saved you. Well, that's what we celebrate, prepare for God as he comes to give us his gifts this night. Let us say a prayer as we lift up to our God and prepare for worship this night and for Sunday. Let us pray. Almighty and gracious Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit on your faithful people. Keep us steadfast in your grace and truth. Protect and deliver us in times of temptation. Defend us against all enemies. And grant to your holy church your saving peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you, be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Your Lord Jesus Christ has ransomed you. May that be the workout upon which you put your faith and trust in, in your Lord Jesus. Have a good night. Some people are already starting to filter in for service, and it's time to get ready. May you be blessed as you get ready for this night and also for this weekend. Happy Reformation and God's peace to you. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs>